Zach Bryan's Tourniquet. Wake up, everyone. Zach Bryan just released a new unreleased track. What? Was that a conundrum? Or an oxymoron? Perhaps. However, it's an incredible song. Very Zach Bryan-esque. It reminds me of a song, Old Man. Similar chord, pro chord progression, which I did do a video on. If you want to circle back. But anyways, this song is a great song. And what I love most about it is about stopping the bleeding. Which I think we can all relate to in Zach Bryan's music. That it helps stop the bleeding for us from time to time. <clears throat> Essentially, I'm going to give you the easiest way to play this song. So you can be singing it. In 10 minutes of learning it, and I'll show you even an easier way to learn it if you can't do bar chords. But yeah, so first things first, you want to capo the sixth, which is up there. So it might be hard to sing for a lot of us folks out there, but we're going to go ahead and get right into the chords, which luckily is only four chords. It's the same four chords with the verse and the chorus, pre chorus, what have you. There's a little mix up um, to the progression of those chords for the verse, but I'm going to teach you that right now. So without further ado, All right, so for the chord progression, we're gonna start off with the illustrious F major bar chord. Oh no, bar chord. I'm a beginner, I can't play them. Have no fear. You can always play the classic F, which is open, open, three, two, one, open. Sounds like a destruction sequence code, but what it is is an easy way to play the F major. Now, I encourage you as a beginner to learn the F major bar chord because it is probably the most played bar chord for any beginner song. And the reason why is because we start with that E major shape, right? And we slide it up to the second fret, which then by adding this bar, the low E, or even just the whole F sliding it up, excuse me, the whole E sliding it up, we're making a very full F. So if you're someone like some whale on the guitar or someone like Zach Bryan who has so much power in his, in his strumming and his chords, you're gonna to have to learn how to play this F eventually. So maybe this is a song for you. Now with the full bar in the E major shape, we're gonna have one, three, three, two, one, one. Or essentially an E major slid up with the bar. Might be easy for you to get that thumb on there. That's how I like to play it. So Zach Bryan plays it. But nonetheless, you can also substitute for the easy destruction code F. There he's gonna go to it G major. Three, two, open, 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 three. So that's if you got a turn it quick, if you need a turn it kick. Then we're gonna go to an A minor, which is an open, open, two, two, one, open. Now this is where it gets a little fun. We're gonna do a, a country C walk up, which he actually does in a lot of his songs, so Tyler Children. Essentially, you're gonna do down strum and then on this a string the second string down we're gonna slide it to the second fret right and coincidentally if you have the skills you can also bring this guy underneath it and hit them both before hitting a c major so one more time is C major is open, three, two, open, one, zero. Open, excuse me. So let's, let's just do that one more time because this is the funky part. Let's start from the beginning. F, D, D minor, C, walk up. And that's literally almost the entire song. So you just have to master this playing and with the strumming. So before I get into how the chorus relatively changes a little bit, I'm going to give you the strumming pattern as well. So... <clears throat> This song is actually very easy strumming in terms of the movement of your hand. The timing is a little difficult, but I promise you, you play 10 minutes a day, even five minutes a day, you will master this song within a week, I promise. So it's, let's revisit to F, down, two downs, G, downs, A minor, walk, all downs. That's essentially how he plays the song until he gets to the rhythm of more of the song. He starts adding in a few when he's changing up the walk up, 
and in between choruses. So he starts off like this. Down, 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 down. And then right before he changes to do a little up, down, minor, still down, C, still down. And then maybe a quick up, down before starting over. Close that last C, they'll do a little lick on that. We're getting into that. Which for those who are paying attention, right, it is you're taking off that middle finger from the third string down and hammering on it on the fourth string down the second fret. Okay guys, so for the second part, the last part, pre-chorus, what have you, we don't have the song yet, so who knows, there could be an amazing chorus, or maybe that is a turn chorus, but this is the ending of the song. I'm going to play it first without trying to sing it, because I haven't mastered the singing of this one yet, but it, it sounds like this. cool about this uh it's really the same chords just we're, what we're doing is we're omitting the g and we're changing up the order of the chords so if you remember we did the f to the g to the a minor c walk up so instead of going to an f we're gonna start over on an a minor to the walk up to the c to an f no g start on the a minor end on the f so I bandit up your body and your pain on your bad days to take care of the love that your love runs through. And I know all the damage that some days in this dark world does. So you guys, that is Tourniquet by Zach Bryan. It's an incredible song. Um, thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing. Please share this video. I'm making about 20 cents a video nowadays, which is freaking amazing. I can maybe buy a, buy myself a nice drink at, at the bar this weekend if I can get some views on this video. <laughs> no, guys, thank you guys seriously so much. And uh, Zane Shreds, I'm out.